Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, the day started off with not so much as a single cloud in the sky for hours, which is so rare here. And just now starting to see a few floaters go by. But the angle of the sun here in the tropics has changed. So I'm going around and doing a little trimming, as you can see on this 1000 watt array right there. Got a little bit of a shadow. And it's these leaves right here. This plant has grown. But like I said, the sun is dropping. So what I'm going to do is reach up here, grab this, and you see that shadow. Make it go away. <laughs> and let's see, where's that little teeny one right there? Right there. That's got to go away too. There. Okay. <laughs> now it's back in full sun. So it's very late morning, but I don't want any shade on those panels. Uh, we'll catch good sun for the rest of the day. But even those little shadows right there that I showed you, they do make a difference. So now we're getting full power. And here's what's going on on this array, or these two arrays, same time, exactly. There's only been the difference of me walking from the one side of the uh, property to the other. And now these are in considerable shade. Late, late morning, where just a few weeks ago, these were in full sun from very early in the morning. But I can't just reach up and grab a branch or two and make these get into full sun. And although the sun looks like it's peeked over those trees, I mean, I'm going to be bumping high noon here pretty quick. And I've got shadows everywhere. This top string right here is just now starting to come into full sun. And that lower string, which is a 700 watt string down there, it's just not doing anything. And it's always this time of year that I always think about removing a couple of those trees, but I'm not going to. So it's just three trees. Those three, one, two, three, right there that are blocking that 700 watt string pretty good this late in the day. And within minutes, that sun will get up just high enough and a little more over in here that'll go into full sun. And I have it over paneled for the battery that it's charging and that's charging that 48 volt uh, Power Queen battery. But mercy, if I took those three trees down, uh, that system would be fully charged. But over paneled as I am on that, I'm still gonna get up to a full charge today as the sun is heading down. And if we look at that thousand watt string, which is coming into these two in network, you can see that the, the top string is pulling 450 watts. If you look right there at the network total, since they are networked together, nine, over 900 watts coming in. So both strings are about evenly matched, 400 and roughly 50 watts coming off of each string in full sun. And just moving those uh, small branches out of the way of that panel made it open up all the way. So there they are in full sun, doing great. Together, 880 some watts coming through a ne networked uh, pair of Victrons and in absorption. So these are good to go for the day. But then we'll take a look at the back ones. 
and right there is that 700 watt string. Uh, if those trees were out of the way, uh, it would definitely be pumping close to 700 watts, but they're very, very shaded at the same time that that other string is in full sun. And this is one reason I've had to over panel these on this side of the uh, house. So there it is. That's the most it can get right now. Now within a few minutes, this is gonna open wide up, but it's getting kind of late in the day. So for this time of the year is the reason I've got that system over paneled. And here it is just a few minutes later as it's peeking around those trees, opening up quite a bit. There's a little cloud there, but as soon as that little cloud moves. So now, because I've got 700 uh, watts and they're still not fully in the sun, but it, without the clouds, it's getting up there and it'll still push this battery up to full today. So that's why I have to over panel for that area. Those three trees this time of year, uh, if I had less panels, I wouldn't be keeping this battery up. So there it's, it's trying. And in a moment, there'll be no shade on there. But all other systems are fully in the sun. And here it is now, oh, about one o'clock. Got this 700 watt string, completely uh, unshadowed. 500 watt string, same thing, full power coming in. And I'll show you how that'll work for the rest of the day. So it's, the sun has cleared these three culprits here and it's way over here and it's just gonna hang up there for the rest of the afternoon, quite a while, several hours. And it's right there, hanging there, that it'll keep these two systems right here fully charged. Even when the sun even dips a little bit lower, it'll hang up out there all afternoon. So that's why I have it busting out 700 watts here and 500 watts here. It's for this time of year. So it takes it a little while to clear the trees. And then when it does, in good sun, I can quickly charge my two systems up that is tied into these arrays. Yeah, so no problem. And just like that, in no time at all, got that 48 volt battery, 100% full. Sitting around at 13 point, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, 54 volts. I'm so used to talking about 12 volts, but yeah. So that's why I've over paneled this particular battery, which is this one right here, the Power Queen. Can pump it up real, real fast under good sun. So for this time of year, that's why I need those extra panels. So even as the sun is going down, uh, and it is noticeable out here as well, uh, I've built all my systems to deal with the shorter days of the year. And then, of course, we're heading into what can be some uh, darker days as well. So, yeah, all in all, looking pretty good. All right, you guys, that's how I'm chasing the sun today. Yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous out. Good solar day. Hope you guys are catching some sun for your systems. All right. Aloha.